So the lines y equals x minus 2, x plus y equals 10 are drawn on the grid. So y equals minus x minus 2 and x plus y equals 10. On the grid, mark across each of the points with integer conditions that are in the region defined by y is greater than x minus 2, y x plus y is less than 10, and x is greater than 3. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to shade out the regions that are the complete opposite of what we've been given. I'm going to shade out, shade the region y equals x minus 2. I'm going to shade the region x plus y is greater than 10. And I'm going to shade the region x is less than 3. So you'll see if you look closely here, y is less than x minus 2. The opposite of y is greater than x minus 2 and so on for the other two. And what this will leave is the region where we need to mark our crosses. Because what we'll have left is where we're allowed to go. So we'll start with y is less than x minus 2. Well here is the line where y equals x minus 2. y measures up or down, so as long as I take something underneath the graph, then the y will be less than x minus 2. So for example, if we took the point 9, 4, then 9 take 2, 9 being the x-coordinate is 7, and y is 4. That's kind of a test point, making sure you are shading the right region. So we'll show you that to start with, so that gets rid of that region. We'll tick off that we've done that one. Now x plus y is greater than 10. Well, here's the x plus y equals to 10. And if you take numbers, points above, you'll see they well exceed 10. So for example, 6, 9. 6 plus 9 is 15. That's way over 10. So we need to shade above the line. Now, we haven't been given the line um, x equals 3. We're expected to put that in. So x equals 3 will be the line where every x coordinate is 3. So we'll draw that line in now. And we have to shade out x is less than 3. And so we have our region. Now, in actual fact, what I should have put, just put this in, we're not allowed to actually be on the line in any of these. So we can't be on the line. So we can now mark the crosses inside the triangle, none of which are allowed on the line. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4. And those are the crosses where the integer conditions that are in the region defined by the inequalities given. So those four crosses is what we're looking for, and that's your answer.